Welcome to Home Cooking with Dad. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe which has a very interesting background. It was during World War II uh, in Malaya when many people did have access to rice. Rice was a luxury at the time. So people started using substitute. And one of the substitutes they started using was tapioca or cassava. So my grandfather who had a very large family at the time started using cassava or tapioca because that's the only thing they had access to and my grandmother started making more and more recipes using tapioca. One of these recipes is tapioca with shrimps and it is really amazing. As a young boy, I used to have this very often but my mother used to only use a handful of shrimps for this recipe but in this recipe I'm going to use 200 to 300 grams of shrimps to suit my taste. Uh, I haven't had this dish for almost 20 years and my family has never tried it before so this is the first time that they're going to try it so I hope they like it. The cassava root is like the puffer fish of the vegetarian world. It has some naturally occurring toxins within the root so you need to take some precautions when you're preparing this dish. Uh, I've listed them, these precautions in the description below. So let's get started making this dish. This has to be thrown away. You can't eat things black. Slit it. Twist the knife. Twist. 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 I've already washed it for, I've rinsed it and washed it for about three times and now I would like to keep it, you need to soak it for at least about half an hour. For this dish we also need to use shrimps and uh, we're going to use this kind of small shrimps. Because, so I got about like 200 grams of these. In the meantime I'm going to pound some garlic. The um, tapioca has been soaking. Tapioca has been soaking for about half an hour. Now we need to change the water, rinse it out, and put fresh water.
found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it will be helpful for this channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. You can eat this dish on its own uh, with its spicy and creamy texture loaded with shrimps. It's real comfort food. But you can also eat it with white rice, uh, some kira kadil, and some yogurt. So now for my family's verdict, it got four thumbs up with everybody. Uh, everybody enjoyed it and agreed that this should be something that is regular in our family's menu.